often. I mean, that might not be a bad idea. Another thing that I was thinking of, uh, oh yeah, so the reason I was thinking I should probably test, like, what effect do the adventures really have? Like, how, like, how much of a difference really is it to, to be rendering the adventures in little bits and pieces? Um, because the other thing that occurred to me that I could do is I could make it so that um, I could basically like I could basically like put together like a slide for the adventurer layer, and so instead of um, instead of having to like render the ad adventures individually each frame, we could um, we could render the adventures onto the slide, and there, of course the slide would have four frames because there are four frames of adventure animation, um, and and then like and then we would just have to render the slide. Um, it probably wouldn't be a big difference. The, the difference, the only, the only, yeah, the, so, like, I don't know ex exactly how much of a difference it would have. The, the, uh, like, in terms of performance, but, like, the, like, procedurally, the difference would be that instead of, like, like, right now, there are probably, like, so what, there are, like, 12 or, like, 15 adventures that can fit on screen all at the same time. Each adventure is, like, comprised of, like, like, 20 or 30 different little pieces. And so the difference would be that instead of drawing, like, you know, like what like 15 times 30 individual little pieces it would just be like one big sheet of like pre-rendered uh image so i don't know that, what the difference like um i like in terms of like whether like blitting like like one pixel a hundred times or a hundred pixels all at once like i don't know that the difference that would have the one the one reason i think that there could be an advantage like either way even if it's a small advantage there could be some slight advantage because um, the character pieces I talked about are like overlapping, so like there there definitely are some pixels that get rendered unnecessarily, um, but it might be like a really subtle savings. It might be that like like there might be like virtually no difference, uh, and I don't I don't actually know. Uh, so I don't know. I guess we could find out at some point, or maybe we never will. Who knows? Um, <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> let's. Uh, Uh, let's do what? Um, uh, yeah, let's uh, uh, continue on with the this this conversion. So what was I going to do here? Um, so that what was I going to do with text? <laughs> um, yeah, so like text uh, uh, text uh, surface or I guess uh, text surf whatever uh, equals uh, pi game. Uh, oh yeah, so th what are the um, Sorry, so the, the variables that we pass in here are... Okay, we just still need CX, CY, uh, and we do still need font. Yeah, those are actually still the same correct things. Okay, so uh, text surf, uh, pygame uh, dot uh, surface, uh, the the width is just going to be 1920, because uh, it's not that we know that we'll need a full 1920, it's that um, we know we'll never need more than 1920. Uh, in length, because the the screen is only 1920 uh, in length. So if we ever need more than 1920, then like, how could that possibly be the case? Well, I don't know. Actually, there are, uh, as soon as I said that, it occurred to me, actually, there are situations that I might want to, uh... no, there's, there's some situations where I might want to do a little bit more than like, Oh, weird. Huh. Yeah, I actually, I might want to, so actually, I, pro I won't worry about it right now, but it just occurred to me, I might want to change this in the near future, because, like, one of the things that I was thinking of, uh, of, of adding as, as, in, like, the near future is uh, the the quest text, like, the event text, the, uh, like, the, you know, like, uh, so, like, when Trusty Bard says, Hark, uh, Hark, you stay the night at a farmstead, I was thinking of actually displaying that on screen, um, and so the thing about that is it would be like a long string of text and it would wrap all the way, it would go, it would like, it would stretch all the way across the screen and it would like scroll smoothly, ideally. And so in order for it to sc scroll smoothly, like there's some extent to which I guess I'd want it actually. Oh no, you know what I'll do is, uh, um, I'll put in, uh, X offset, I guess. Which will typically be zero. X offset will like almost always be zero. Actually, no. You know what? I'm not going to worry about this now because I'm not going. I wouldn't even be using the X offset for uh, for character 
text. I'd only be using it for that um, for that other text, uh, for the for the, like the GM text or whatever. Uh, so yeah, so no, I'm not going to worry about that for now. Uh, okay. Um, so. Uh, Oh, that should be a cool, a gust of cool breeze blows gently at the backs of three adventurers, not the back of three adventurers. They don't share a back. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Minor thing. Uh, growth uh, gently at the backs of however many adventurers. Uh, okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. And then, uh, right, okay, so this is, this is satisfactory for now. Um, so text surface equals uh, surface uh, 1920 by um, oh yeah so then by the uh, by font uh, dot height uh, yeah and then uh, so graphics dot blit uh, oh right right the character frame oh right so we don't know distance anymore so. We actually can't do this first. Yeah. So, so because, so right, what we have to do now, instead of, um, instead of just bl jumping right ahead to blitting the background first, what we have to do now is we have to actually figure out like how big this text is really. So we're going to say, um, so we're going to say like, uh, length, uh, equals zero for starters. And then, uh, uh, so, or like, so like text length, uh, Text length equals zero, and then we're gonna say. Uh, so then we're yeah, we're actually gonna jump down to the, uh, the part where we blit like the uh, the uh, for C in string. Okay, it's not lower anymore. It's just for C in string. Uh, we're gonna say uh, graph. It's not gonna be graphics dot blit. It's gonna be text surf. Uh, text surf. Uh, dot blit. Wait, why are we doing two blits here? Oh, we do the char frame. Yeah, we know. Uh, so we don't do the char frame actually anymore. Uh, we just do the uh, text surf uh, dot blit, uh, and it'll be font dot png. No, it'll be um, it'll be. Uh, oh wait, no, no, no. We can't. Yeah, no, no. This is fine. Uh, so it'll be font dot um, font dot chars index c dot image is the image that we blit and then the uh and then the 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 position or the the size will be i mean we can just do oh no i was gonna say we could just do like font dot chars c chars index c dot um image dot like what is it like get surface or like get like get get coordinates or whatever but it's not exactly that we will we will want to use that but uh not right because uh the 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 x position is actually going to be length so dist this is going to be replaced by uh length uh we don't care about cx and cy yet because we're not actually like blitting this onto the graphics yet um so it'll be length uh plus no it'll just be length the first term will just be length um, uh, then the next term will be zero, uh, zero. Oh, area. Yeah. And we don't, we don't care about the area term anymore because now the, uh, that was only for when we were sub, uh, blitting like little sub regions of like the full character set, but these images are like all their own individual things. So, um, so yeah, it'll be, it will be font dot height, but that's the second term. Uh, it, before that it'll be uh, font dot uh, chars uh, index c uh, dot image dot what is that thing that we were doing before like uh, get uh, what was it it was like to get the shadow pause uh, get wrecked yeah <laughs> how could I forget um, get wrecked uh, index uh actually no before before we do that um oh get wrecked i wonder if like i wonder how easy get wrecked is because like would it be easier to just cache 
cash the wrecked? Like, is it calculating get? Re is it recalculating the wrecked every time we do get wrecked, or is it just like, does it just have like, is it caching the wrecks? I wonder. Uh, get wrecked. Uh, a new rectangle. Uh, so I'm just gonna, I think I might just cash the rectangle, because, like, I don't know, why not? Um, yeah, so it's actually just gonna be, uh, oh, wait, no, 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 we saved the, we saved the width, what am I thinking? Of? I, I don't need to get to the rect at all, because we, we already, we already saved the width, right? So, for that, right, okay, no, yeah, I'm, an, I'm a silly person, okay. <laughs> I was like, I should cache this data. Wait, I don't have to cache the whole thing. I only have to cache the width. Wait, I already do that. <laughs> All right, so then uh, length. Uh, so length, uh, or, or was it? Oh, it's, it's not length. It's, it's text length. Uh, uh, text length uh, is uh, is going to be plus equals font dot chars uh, index C dot width. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so then what we can do once we've gone through the entire string, oh, 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 yeah, right. There's actually one thing that we have to do before this, because we can't assume the existence of chars index C yet. We have to say, uh, if, uh, if C not in, uh, font dot, uh, or font, yeah, font dot chars, uh, dot keys. Uh, then we have to say fabricate uh, fabricate uh, character uh, C and uh, font yeah uh, right and so then once we've done that then we can yeah so for most of the time we'll like the character will be prefabricated um, but just in case we we might have to fabricate the character uh, okay so uh, yeah then let's uh, uh, <laughs> get wrecked me. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Um, all right. So let's, um, right. Okay. So now we have this text surface, which is way too long in like almost in like 99.9% .9 of the cases this is going to be like way too long of a surface. But, um, uh, sometimes, <laughs> no, um, so what we do now is, uh, so right, we, so we have length, we have text length. Um, yeah. Okay. So this is where, this is where we have to figure out like, or this is where I have to figure out like what to do with, uh, those little, um, these little frame pieces, right? Cause I could make like, I could just make one really long one and that'd be, that'd be straightforward. Cause then I just have to like blit once. And I think I was saying like, for simplicity's sake, I might actually do that. So let's, uh, uh, let's edit this, uh, let's image, uh, resize, uh, nearest neighbor, just put the width up to 1920. <laughs> no, don't, don't maintain aspect ratio. Oops. Wait, I don't want it to get taller. I just want it to get, um, stretch here. Oops, not canvas size. Uh, image, resize, so nearest neighbor, don't maintain aspect ratio. Uh, let's bump it up to 1920. Because again, this will now be satisfactory. This will be sufficiently long, regardless of uh, of how long of the thing that we actually have to blit is. So, so let's save this. Uh, yeah, and let's just do this to all of those uh, to all of those things. All right. So actually, close this for now. I don't need these open. Uh, so let's. Um, so yeah. So so I'll we'll do it for this one too. Uh, edit. Uh, so file or image. Uh, Resize, uh, nearest neighbor, don't maintain aspect ratio, 1920, blammo. And that looks, that still looks good, right, okay. Because by nearest neighbor, it doesn't, like, try and, like, do anything fancy with the image. It just literally just, like, duplicates the pixels all the way down the line. Uh, so, yeah, so we'll do, we'll just go through and we'll do this uh, per environment. Because uh, we have these different backgrounds per environment. And, uh, I mean, the act frame one, like, that one I know will never be so long, but whatever. <laughs> It's not like it takes up like that much memory just to have like slightly wider frame images. And I, I could like, I, and if I, if it, if I ever get to the point where I'm breaking the bank with these like super wide frames, like I can always, uh, I can always, uh, uh, change it. 
so 1920. Uh, save that. Okay. Uh, image resize uh, 1920. All right. And uh, I said, what, like four more environments, five more environments? Uh, so which ones? I did cave and forest. Yes, yeah, no. Do do do. <laughs> this is the fun part. Everyone loves this part of game development. The part where you just have to like reformat something slightly. Uh, so do do do. And right. So that so the nice thing that I'll be able to do after we're done with this is I can just use the length of. So yeah. So the 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 length uh, or the text length that we're calculating as we're like putting these strings together. Um, we'll just be able to. Uh, we'll just be able to use that value as like the area, like the sub, you can, instead of like blitting an entire image, you can just blit part of an image and we'll just use that length to determine like how much of this image we need to blit. And because like that length never goes above 1920, then yada yada. Uh, <laughs> uh, did I save this one? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, file open. Uh, so that was the, I think I just did the mountains, right? Oh, well, yeah, whatever. Uh, Mountains, uh, river, uh, okay, so act frame, character frame, uh, not delete, <laughs> edit, um, image, uh, resize, 19, uh, 1920, uh, <laughs> save that, and, uh, image, resize, uh, 1920, uh, save that. Alrighty then, um, so what am I going to do? Once we're done with this, yeah. So the way I'm setting up the um, <clears throat> the way I set up the the text rendering before, they're like they're significant enough differences between like there there are a lot of similarities between how we render the action text and how we render the name tag text. But there are enough differences that like I the way I've been doing it so far is I literally just have like two separate like methods <clears throat> or two different like protocols for um <clears throat> for rendering that text. Actually, you know that. I, I set that up especially to be the case back when uh, there were actually more differences between the uh, between the ways that we rendered that stuff. So it's actually it's feasible that like maybe um, maybe we actually don't want to uh, have that difference any longer. Maybe we actually do want to like unify those things. Although um, I think there will certainly be enough differences uh, between how we like I was saying before with like the GM text. There'll, I think there will be certainly enough differences there that. Um, we'll want to set up like a different, a different method for, uh, for rendering, uh, the, uh, that, that text. Cause, um, yeah. So what I was thinking is like, uh, of having an, yeah, the difference about that text is that that one, that text hypothetically, like the, how do I say this? Like hypothetically the, uh, the, the, the text that would be blit on screen it could be a, a subset or it could be a segment like what we want to render on screen would be a subset like a subset or like a segment of a much longer text string so i yeah i actually i'm not sure how i want to handle that yet i guess i'll uh yeah i'll have to figure that out but that's like a, that is a different thing anyway so like i don't i don't have to be thinking about it right now um yeah uh all right so Oh, you know what? It just occurred to me. Instead of having to do this, uh, instead of, instead of having to do this, uh, what was it? The uh, the fabricate characters check. Every time we render like character text, character text actually doesn't vary nearly as much as like some other text. I, I was just thinking. It was occurring to me like, um, because like the character text is actually a very finite uh, character set. Um, I mean, it's the stuff that we render on screen currently. So, and the same with the action text. Yeah, so now that I think about it, like, um, if I do have these, yeah, I can, I can just, like, I can pre-populate these, these, uh, I don't have to run this check all the time, because I can just pre-populate these, li these font libraries with all the characters that I will need to display this stuff. Um, I, I might need to, I might need to do something, I might need to do the fabricate characters check, for the other type of text, because the other type of text is, uh, is I can like, I can input that text through like my secret control panel, uh, here. And so like, I can put any weird like characters, like the, 
I don't know, like, it, like for example, the, or no, percent sign is a bad example because I do have percent sign. But like asterisks and like the, oh no, I do have the at symbol as well. Uh, dollar sign, like the, those are, those are um, I don't know. I, like, I don't expect those characters to come up very often. So I'm... maybe I should just pre-populate it. Maybe I should just fabricate all the characters in advance because like, yeah, I don't want to have to be, I don't want to have to run that check. Oh, no, I do still have to run that check. Right, 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 no. I just have to run that check because I have to do something in the case that we hit a character that's not in that set. So, yeah, so... Yeah. Whatever. It's not that bad. It's not... It's, it could... could be worse. It's a little... I don't know. Maybe I'll, um... <laughs> Maybe I'll, uh, I'll have the game, like, be smart about it. I'll have it so that, like, whenever the ki whenever a, a weird new character comes up that we didn't anticipate needing before, not only does it fabricate that character and add it to the... No, how did I do that? Uh... Yeah, I can make it so that if we encounter a character that we haven't encountered before, we... I was trying to think of I'm making, trying to think of a way that instead of like um instead of having to like check it like at the time of rendering like we could like I don't know like exp like the the set of characters that we pre-populate like we could expand that just like have it naturally expand uh but I don't know maybe we'll we'll see uh I mean the other thing I could, yeah no no because like I I keep thinking like oh I could restrict the characters that go in but like if I restrict the characters that go in I still have to just filter for the characters that go in. Like, there's no way to just, like, yeah, whatever. It's a, it's a thing that I'll have to do at some point. Um, oh, did I even finish? Uh, I don't think I finished with, uh, right, so I haven't uh, I haven't uh, saved this one yet. And I think I have, like, one more environment to to change. Uh, backgrounds, yeah, village. Uh, all right, and I think this is the last one. Why does this one look different? Uh, whatever. It's a uh, act frame middle and char frame middle. Uh, edit these. Uh to be image uh, resize nineteen twenty say that okay and uh, uh, image uh, resize uh, nineteen twenty uh, save that <laughs> of course it's as soon as I finish like resizing these things that it just occurs to me like maybe I don't want to actually like make these things. Oh no, they're two kilobytes. They're they're two KB. Like that's no, that's fine. I don't like if they, if they were like if they were like really big and like and like these files aren't even really big. Like this one's 104 kilobytes. That's like a little bit big. Um, <laughs> like if it was more like that, then I guess I'd care. But like no, for for uh, for uh, for two kilobytes, I really don't care. Um, all right, so now um, now uh, oh yeah. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So with the um with the fonts, like I I I forget if I did this before, but I do want to do the uh like um I do want to do the frame. So like uh so yeah. So like frame uh frame l uh frame l equals uh uh pi game surface blah 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 uh frame uh frame m uh, equals, uh, oh, wait, wait, no, this, oh, yeah, yeah, no, this isn't a, sorry, no, this is an, as, an aspect of the font, this is, right, we just, we just updated these, these are an aspect of the environment, it's not of the font, so I have to reference it from the environment the way that I, that I tend to, uh, right, so, how do we do that? Uh, uh, it's like, yeah, env.charframe, um, uh, right. Okay. Why did I not have to call this global env? I don't understand when I do and don't have to call things global. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> I mean, apparently I don't have to do it here or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> um, let's, uh, okay, so we have the, uh, we have the text length now. Uh, so now we can say, uh, oh, Oh, wait, if I'm using a surface like this, I have to do the chroma key thing again. Which I guess is fine, because we did the chroma key thing last time and it worked out fine. 
But uh, yeah, I think I, I have to do the chroma key thing again. So I have to say uh, uh, textsurf uh, textsurf dot set uh, color key uh, set color key zero to be zero 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 and then uh, and then uh, text uh, surf dot fill uh, zero 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 okay uh, yeah almost forgot about that uh, kind of weird that like it's it's really weird to me that Pygame can like Pygame can deal with like surfaces that have alpha and yet maybe wait maybe the fill command can like fill to like a not having alpha or something I, I feel like I must be missing something I feel like I must be missing something because like color maybe the color I think I've tried specifying oh RBGA the alpha part is ignored unless the surface uses per pixel alpha oh Oh. Oh, so I just have to use like a circ alpha flag, I guess. Apparently, maybe. I don't know. Is that was? It sounds like that's what it's telling me. Uh. That'd be convenient. Wait, what? <laughs> no, circ. Uh. Yeah, circ alpha. Find this. What? I hit control F and it. <laughs> searches for color K. Even though no one cares about that. What a jerk. All right. Um. Copy, control find, paste. There we go. Uh, all right, so I could I could try that. That might be that might be easier. Uh, but then again, like I don't know. I guess no. Th I guess that's good to know. But like we already came up with the color treatment, or we already came up with the treatment that we wanted using the color key. So I'll just use the color key for now. So it, it is nice to know that 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 pie game is not literally incapable of doing that. Actually, that that is actually very useful for some other things that I... Oh, no, not really. Eh, whatever. Eh, it's fine. <laughs> All right, um... <laughs> let's, uh... Uh, yeah, so let's, let's do this for now, I guess, because why not? All right, um... And then, uh... So, now we can... Yeah, now we can kind of get ready to blip stuff like for graphics and stuff uh so right so cx and cy i'm pretty sure those are like um i'm pretty sure cx is actually the center point and cy i don't i don't really care how, how was i using cy no yeah cy yeah no x i was using using as center point cy i was just using as the y value so um so right so what we want to do is uh is Oh, yeah. So yeah, we'll say so. We'll say um. So like say start start pause uh start uh pause uh equals uh equals uh. How do we do uh. Distance plus cx. Distance plus CX minus two. Oh, we just hard coded the. Uh, we just uses li use literals for the width of uh, the frames for the stuff. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Start pause. Uh, start pause equals uh, right. Right. So so text length. Uh, text length uh, divided by two. Uh, No, uh, so excuse me, C, 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 X minus text length divided by two. Um, so this will be the pixel that we start at. Uh, and then, so we'll say, so first we'll say uh, graphics, uh, graphics dot blit, uh, dot blit, uh, env uh, dot char frame, char frame L, start with the left half of the frame, or the left part of the frame. Uh, and that will be blit to what location? It'll be blit to uh, start pause. Uh, <laughs> that was a really unimpressive set of letters that didn't even closely approximate what I was trying to type there. Uh, so start pause, yeah, I guess minus, minus two. 
Hey, there's the new follower sounds. Uh, uh, Gothy Cat One, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for following. <laughs> um, uh, is this right? Start pause. Yeah. So start pause is like the world position, I guess. Which is fine. Yeah. Uh, okay. So um, so start pause minus two. Right. Again, I'm just using like a literal. I'm like hard. I'm hard. I have hard coded the uh, the width of these frame stuff things because like I don't really expect to change it. So I don't know. Uh, uh, two and uh, font dot height. Yeah. I guess so. Font uh, dot height. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, cool, and then uh, and then we'll say graphics uh, dot blit. Uh, uh, actually, we'll basically do the same statement again, except with a few subtle differences. Uh, specifically, that um, it'll be char frame m. It'll start at start pause, and it will go. It'll start at cy. It'll go not the length of two. It'll go the length of uh, text length. Because, uh, like I said, that's yeah, and then it'll go yeah for the height of font height, and then uh, and then very similarly the uh, the conclusion will be uh, start position plus uh, text length uh, uh, will be the starting position for the the concluded oh yeah this will be frame frame r oh yeah well the line's a little bit dupl duplicative of the next line but whatever oh whoops this is supposed to be uh, this is supposed to be pi game rex uh, pi game uh, dot uh, rect uh, yeah so uh, that is kind of important um, and then uh, oops uh, well that's fine I guess uh, oh stupid if I <laughs> if I try and insert a closing parenthesis right before a closing parenthesis it doesn't do it PyCharm is just like nope nope no new parenthesis for you. Nope. <laughs> Whatever. Um, oh, so now, yeah, we don't need this one anymore. Oh, and uh, is there, so is the rest of that? Yeah, the rest of that is, is in fact good. Uh, and so I guess, I mean, we didn't have to do it necessarily in this order, but the last thing the last thing that we put is uh, graphics. Uh, it's very similar to this one, actually. Uh, it's uh, The difference is that we're not blitting from inv.charframe m anymore. We're, now we're blitting from... Um, uh, text surf, or the text the the text surface that we put together. Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, cool. So yeah, let's uh, let's uh, I think that's actually it, right? Start so the start pause. We go to cy text length, font height, I think that's good, and that's all we need to do. Um, so yeah, so the thing that was occurring to me is that, like, uh, instead of using, like, the char frame, like, ML, blah, 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 like, this is, this is lit. oh, okay, so if I wanted to change it uh, so that I could use the same, like, blit text thing for, for character text and for action text, I would need to, um, I need to do what? I would need to. Uh, I need to stop referencing the char frame directly. I would need to add like a new parameter or something, or like, or no, I could just add like some qu quality of the font to like indicate which frame to use from the environment or something like that. Um, so that'd be fine. But then I'd have to stop using uh, th these literals to represent the width of those frames. I'd have to. I'd have to also keep track of the width of those frames. So I mean that's doable, because like there's no real. Like, this is, like, pretty much exactly the same for both things. So, like, there's no major point in in having it as, like, two separate things. Because, like, the difference would just be, like, copy, paste, this, and then change, like, a few values. And that's, like, a little weird, I guess. Um, so, uh, uh, so, yeah, so, so for the environments, I think, um, so char frames and stuff. Uh, I'm, I think I'm just going to change these to be just, like, whoa, what just happened? I just clicked on the wrong tab, I guess. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so let's let's go to. Yeah, so I'm just thinking like, um, 
So like frame, yeah, I think frame, frame, yes, yeah, so let's look at like frame L, like where this is defined. Wait, where is this defined? Is it like never defined anywhere? It's just kind of appear. It's kind of appears here. Sure, whatever. All right, so yeah, self. So, so frame L is actually going to be um. Is actually going to be like a list. It'll actually be like a, a list of two of two surfaces. Uh. And uh, and so yeah, so we'll just um. So then we'll just specify like which uh, so like on the font we'll just specify which environment frame to use and so. Uh, so we'll just uh, we can just reference it that way, and then um, I guess what else would we need to do though? We'll need um, yeah, so we'll need like uh, we we'll also need uh, self dot uh, frame width uh, equals uh, like zero zero for starters, and then we'll just have to set that when we load stuff in. Uh, actually, we can initialize it to the known literals. Cause like, like I, like we were saying, those things are hard code, hard coded. So, uh, yeah. What what are they? Um, I know it's two for the. Uh, it's two width of two and a width of five. So, yeah, the widths are just uh, five <laughs> and two. Not the classiest way to um, to handle that, but whatever. Sorry. So self frame. Yeah. So now when we load these in, uh, it's actually going to be self. So this will be index zero that we're loading in here. Index zero, index zero, and then these will just be a uh, uh, frame uh, index one, index one, uh, index one, and we don't need to specify char frame anymore. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, there we go. Uh, cool. And then, uh, yeah, okay. So that's that's actually I think all we need to do here. And then if we go back up to where we were defining uh, the uh, yeah this stuff, we so instead now we just say um, oh right. So for fonts we have to so fo yeah actually before I forget fonts have to have a concept of um, fonts need to know about their um, so like their frame index uh, frame index uh, equals zero, and then. Uh, uh, oops, uh, doo -doo -doo. and then, uh, sorry, when we're, so when we're setting them, like, font character is actually going to have a, um, font, uh, font char, uh, uh, frame index will be one, and then, uh, for, I mean, I guess it initializes to zero, so we don't really have to, uh, do it, but we can just say equals zero, whatever, I don't care, that's fine, uh, <laughs> and then, and then when we're uh, when we're uh, when we're doing that font business, where were we doing that? Uh, yeah, uh, we can say so. It's gonna be environment frame <laughs> index frame l index uh, font dot frame index. Yeah. <laughs> so again, uh, uh, frame. Uh, M index uh, font dot frame index, um, do, 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 and uh, and then so those twos over there, we'll have to replace those twos as well, because those twos are now uh, so this two is now um, is now uh, frame. Oh, so no, env uh, env. Uh, dot frame frame width frame width I thought that's what I called it pretty sure that's what I called it uh, yeah uh, do, do, do. so we use that for for that we use it for this and we use it for this and then yeah I think we're good to go so we don't have to call this a we don't have to call this blit text char anymore we can just call this blit text uh, and we can get rid of these. Ah, uh, do do do, doop doop. Ah, uh, and uh, so yeah. So now places where we blit text. Uh, oh, we're not pre-populating. Yeah, we're not pre-populating the uh, 
the uh, the dictionary yet, the the font dictionaries. Uh, so I guess I. Oh, where was that? Oh, did I delete my list of characters? I mean, I guess I can remember it. In fact, I have it on hand now that I think about it. <laughs> it's uh, it's this. No, not that. Yeah, this list of characters here. Um. Oh, do I really have an ellipsis character? Oh, wait, I use a code for the ellipsis character. I forget what that code is. <laughs> I think I use like, tilde. Or, well, I guess I got rid of it, so... Wait, what did it used to be? It was either tilde, or it was like the, the backwards apostrophe underneath tilde. I remember we had a long conversation. I had a long conversation. I ranted for a while about how the little backwards apostrophe underneath tilde is not a high priority character. There's no reason that like that little backward. There's no reason that I know of that that little backwards apostrophe underneath the tilde has like like deserves to be um, deserves to be like a top level character. Like of all the characters on the keyboard, like all the letters, those are important. All the numbers, those are important. Comma, period, semicolon is kind of like. I think semicolon kind of punches above its weight, and square braces, like, there are some that's like, why did those get top billing? Um, uh, but, like, backwards, backwards apostrophe, I think of all the characters that you don't have to use a modifier key in order to press, like, all the characters, or all the, all the keys that are just, like, there, uh, uh, like, top level, um, backwards apostrophe, I don't, I don't know if it earned its place, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, <laughs> alright, where's, uh, I was just looking here for the, uh, the list of characters, uh, just to see, like, what I, um, huh, did I not delete it? I'm not seeing it on the diff list. So, oh, no, here it is. Uh, I used, I used, I did, I used the backwards apostrophe, because I don't respect the backwards apostrophe. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess I could have checked in code to see that as well. But yeah, so basically it's going to be this list, except uh, with the backwards apostrophe instead of the... Uh, right, so... Yeah, I shouldn't have... Oh, I'll just copy it from the... I'll just copy it from here. Copy that. And then... Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I didn't mean to... Oh! Um, oh! 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 The... The action frames have a different height. All right, so quick, so uh, well, all right, I'll paste this so I don't forget. But um, I just remembered. Yeah, no, I didn't even remember. I just read here that <laughs> the action frames <laughs> are actually taller than the, the the font, and I did know that because if you look at the action frames, they're like they extend above and below the font. Like they're clearly taller than the font, um, and I just kind of forgot about that part. So um, so as we do with like frame uh. Uh, frame uh, width we should also do with frame uh, height uh, so frame frame width so self uh, dot uh, frame uh, height and these are like I, I'm just I'm gonna I'm just gonna use literals because like it's technically like hard coded into the fact that like the the characters size don't change so so it's 56 and uh, 56 and uh, what is the height of the other ones? I think the other one is just like 35, right? Because it was the same height as the, uh, as the as the font itself. Uh, uh, why can I not click on you? You're so small, I can't click on you. <laughs> um, uh, 35, yeah, okay. Uh, do, do, do. So. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, and then um, and then uh, and then what? Let's uh. Let's now. Oh, I probably have to change the. Now that I think about it, I probably have to change the. Uh, these frames, like I probably like I, I need to, like, they probably need to go further down, probably. I mean I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it looks. But like I might need to shift them because what just occurred to me is like I used to use only uppercase letters and uppercase letters never go below the you know, like, the line, right? Like, a capital G never goes, like, below the line, but a lowercase g, like, you know, it swoops way down. So, like, these backing frames are supposed to, like, cover that, like, cover the whole characters, kind of. Like, they're supposed to extend, like, from the very top of the characters to the very bottom of the characters. Um, 
like just so and uh yeah in order to cover the lowercase characters i might need to uh yeah we'll see uh but this is all fine oh yeah so now i actually have to reference the frame height instead of the frame instead of uh yeah right so it's not um it's not font height for these things it's actually uh environment frame height blah blah, blah. so it's like uh Uh, so yeah, it's not, it's not width this time, it's, uh, do-do-do, height. Uh, do-do-do, do-do-do-do-do, uh, copy that, uh, here, and, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So wait, CY is not going to be the correct value here, not exactly. Yeah, right. So we're going to actually want to say, um, we're going to want to say, uh, uh, so like, yeah, we'll just say like frame, uh, frame, frame Y, uh, equals, uh, this value. What about this value? Divided by two. Uh, this value divided by two. Minus minus the font height divided by two. Or actually I guess I can say this value minus the font height divided by two. Uh, uh, plus, no, CY minus this value. Uh, CY minus the difference in those heights. So that'll just offset the frames by like a slight margin. Uh, so it's shifted upwards and it will render. Um, so it'll be, it'll still be like vertically lined up. So like the, the, the text of the action tags will actually, will still be like dead center in these tags. Uh, and I could, I can always tweak that if needed. I don't know why I would need to tweak that, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, so all right. So now let's go back to pre-populating that list of characters. Um, so so now for C in like that list of characters, we're going to uh, where was this? It was down. It should have been down here. Yeah. Uh, so for C in this list, we're gonna say uh, oh yeah, maybe oh yeah. Okay, wait. So we'll do um. We'll do the, the special backwards apostrophe separately. Oh, can I? Maybe I shouldn't do the silly backwards apostrophe thing anymore. Maybe I should just put the, uh, yeah. Where else does that come up? Where else is the backwards apostrophe? Yeah, right. Maybe I should just use the, the stupid, uh, the stupid dot, 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 like the ellipsis that I'm actually trying to use there. Because it's just occurring to me, like, if anyone actually tried to use the back, silly backwards apostrophe in text somewhere, then like it would come out weird. So, uh, yeah, maybe I will replace it. So UTF, uh, right. So the decode UTF eight business, I guess I'll just have to do this. Uh, uh, I'll just have to do this, uh, uh, where, where I use the, where I would be, yeah. Uh, so let's do the backwards apostrophe. Uh, so yeah, so we'll just say plus uh, plus this, and then okay, that's that's the only reference to the silly backwards apostrophe or whatever. So um, yeah, so for C in uh, for C in that list of characters, but then also the ellipsis. Uh, I <laughs> where was it? Ah, uh, yeah. So for C in this list of characters, we'll say um, uh, fabricate fabricate character uh, uh, character is C, and the font is uh, font uh, char. And actually, we'll want to do it for both of these things, and then also uh, this thing. Uh, so, 
uh, fabric <laughs> fabricate character uh, for font char and uh, fabricate character for uh, uh, font uh, action. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then for this one too. Uh, and then so again, like this again, except uh, except uh, down here and unindented. Uh, and for this character, I wonder if this is going to work. Uh, I can test this to see if it'll work before I just kind of send it off into space. Uh, so let's, yeah. So, uh, uh, let's say plus this. Uh, let's see if this crashes or not. That totally crashes. Look at it crash. <laughs> um, Great. Great. No encoding declared. Encoding your face. I'm decoding it to UTF-8. Are you just saying that like the whole document doesn't have e doesn't have encoding declared? Is that what you need? Is that you need to you need the special line at the top that says like spe like dash asterisk dash going <laughs> UTF-8 blah blah blah. Is that what you need? Um, apparently. And, and, and it, okay, so I guess the good news is that it, once I do that, it works. <laughs> um, Alright, so, uh, yeah. Alright, so that should work then, I guess, because we are doing the UTF-8 business. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So I guess, like, this should... No, okay. No, this isn't necessarily going to work yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 this should, this should work, because... Because, right, yeah, no, this should work. Oh yeah, except uh, we haven't. I need to change the references to blit text because it's now like a singular blit text uh, thing. Uh, we don't do like blit text action versus blah blah. So it's like uh, blit text, uh, blit text, and then yeah, font action. Oh okay. So, okay, the rest of it's the same. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, let's. Uh, so right, so then here we can instead of saying uh, blit text blah blah, we can do. Like so, uh, do to do, do to do, 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 do. Uh, and I guess that's like now good and works now, hypothetically. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna, uh, text, yeah, okay, that's all the references to it. Okay, so, uh, save that. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, right, so I'm going to, uh, so I'll save this, and then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna set up like a graphics test or something. Oh, look at all these different versions of, uh, <laughs> of Journey that I have kicking around. I'm gonna um, I guess that doesn't really hurt anything to have them here. No, but Gthread I don't need anymore because that one we we that one ran its course and we're done with. Stable we don't need that anymore because we already have sta other stable builds. Um, Art hack. is kind of fine. I might leave that one for now. TK inter oh TK inter test right <laughs> we are we're also done with that uh, okay so yeah I'm just gonna make a copy of this uh, here and this will be like um, journey uh, uh, like uh, text test and this one's probably not even gonna stick around very long at all so uh, right let's uh, I just I just wanted to uh, oops uh, not new sorry uh, file uh, open I just wanted to like yeah I, I didn't want to have to like restart the uh, restart the game just to, cause like, I don't know, this might not work and I might have to restart it a few times. So I just want to see like what this version does. Uh, so, uh, oh, def, uh, yeah. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, oh yeah. The things that I fix here, I should also fix over here. Right. <laughs> um, so def, uh, uh, fabricate character. Yeah. Uh, do, do, do. All right. So let's try this again. Uh, oop. uh, what's this about? Uh, blit shadow. Text must be string or Unicode. Oh yeah, right. This one's not supposed to be. <laughs> this one is not supposed to be font char char. This, is, this one's just supposed to be the ch the character itself. Uh, and that's true of several instances. That's true of blit shadow render. Oh, the other ones I didn't even update. Whoops. 
Uh, <laughs> yep, so there's that. Uh, I'm just gonna copy this over to the other one. Uh, blam them. Alright, uh, so yeah, let's try that again. Uh, alright. <laughs> Font instance has no attribute width. Font char dot width. Oh, sure. Of course it doesn't. What is NT? Oh! Right. NT wide. NT wide is how far, um, like what, the NT wide is the widest that a name tag can be. So, there is, right, because we're not using a monospace font anymore. The upper limit, I think, is higher than it used to be. But, um, yeah, one of the things that, okay, so I guess I should add it, I should add this to, like, my immediate backlog is, um, is, like, uh, filter, uh, name tags, uh, by their actual length. Oh, actually, that might be a little weird to accomplish now that I think about it. Because, like, in order to filter... No, that's not so bad, actually. I could do, like I said before, I could, like... I could pre-populate this text. Oh, yeah. Huh. So, if I wanted to, um... Well, yeah, so what I was going to do is, like, check, uh... So right now, I, I just go by the, the maximum length of a name tag. I don't bother to, like, recalculate, or I don't bother to check the actual length of the name tags. To, for collision, I just assume that they're all the maximum length, and that, uh, yeah. Um, the, so the, uh, so I, I always just kept thinking to myself, like, oh, I'll just, like, I'll just, like, go by, like, you know, whatever length is. Um, like I'll just someday I'll use the actual length instead of assuming that they're all maximum width. But then the thing that so if I'm not using a monospace font, um, in order to find out the actual length, I need to uh, I need to um, like calculate that not just for the name tags that are already on screen, but then for the name tags that we're going to show on screen. So I could just like have a um, I could just have like another function that just like quickly adds up. Yeah, I'll probably just put in like another function. Yeah, you know what I'll do? I'll put in another function that just that just checks how long a player's name is. And uh, when we load the character, or when we set the character's name, we'll, um, we'll set that value. And then we'll just know for that character how, how wide is this character. Because the, the character's name tag is going to be the same width every time it shows up. Unless their name tag is less than uh, the, the width of the text that shows up underneath their name tag, in which case we'll just use that as like the minimum value. So, so we'll initialize the name tag length. Well, yeah. So players without names can't show their can't have name tags. Players can't have name tags without names. So, uh, yeah. We'll just uh, we'll just set, set, initialize the value to whatever. Set it when we get their name. We'll set it to we'll set their name to be like you know the appropriate length and everything. And then uh, yeah. So that I think that that should be fine. Uh, and then what do we, do we save that? Save? Yeah, I guess we can save it out. Like, uh, yeah, we can just save that. We can, like, to their name file, we can just save what is the... Oh, that's a little weird. Um, no, I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. It's just that on the... Yeah, no, no, that's totally fine, because, like, it's not like the font changes. Um, I was just thinking, like, it'd make more sense to do that on the data thread than to do that on the uh, the graphics thread, because for one thing, it's, like, computation that doesn't directly pertain to graphics. Um, so why not put it on the data thread? And then also... Um... Oh, wait, no, but it gets, it gets called from the graphics thread. Right, because we need... No, 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 it doesn't. No, it, right, no, what am I thinking? It gets... It's... <laughs> if anything, it's, like, kind of on the web thread. But that's silly and weird, and I shouldn't do that. I can put it on the web thread. No, because it'd have to be on the no, it'd have to be on the data thread anyways. Because um, 
because uh, most of the time, like, yeah, no, the only time that it would involve the, the web thread at all is if we were actually, like, asking the web for the correct capitalization and stuff. But, like, every time after that, it'll just be an aspect of uh, the... Uh, every time after that, it'll be um, the same, right? Un unless the player's name changes. Right, so again, when the player's name change... And, na again, name changing is handled on the data thread, so... Oh yeah, yeah. So so right now, um, so right now the oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the reason I was thinking the web thread is because the web thread messages the graphics thread directly when the player's name is updated. But I guess now the web thread can update the data thread, the web thread, and the web thread does message the data thread when the player's name is updated. And then it'll, and then I guess it'll be the data thread, the data thread's job to update that length, and then and then once it has that length, then it will update the graphics thread. Uh, yeah. I think that makes enough sense. Um, so, okay, that was I was just go talking through all that to make sure that I had a solution so that before I commit to this, like it's actually like a, a reasonable thing, like a doable thing. And then just to just to test this out, I'm just gonna put this as like an arbitrarily large number. So 27, it used to be 27 times 25, because um, 25 was the character width, or uh, 25 was the. Uh, oh no, 27 was the max characters. Wait, what what was the character width before? I don't know. I'll just call. I'll just say two seventy for because I don't care. Uh, it's just I'm I'm about to replace that that number. So uh, yeah, let's just see what this uh, see what this does. Oh right, so I should I should update that on both scripts. Oh, but we're about to see it. We're about to see it for the first time. New font. New font. Nope. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> nope. Not about to see it for the first time. Not about to see it ever. Uh, right, I should uh, I should remember to um, to make this change on this script too, is uh, just temporarily. Uh, okay, well, so <laughs> so what's the problem now? Um, text surface. Oh, I didn't I didn't uh, put these in parentheses. More parentheses. Always parentheses. Uh, all right, so run run this again. Doop -a doop -a doop. Ah, uh, trusty bard. Let's see your name tag. Nope, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Someday. <laughs> um, Phil. Oh, again. Always with the parentheses within parentheses. Parentheses forever. Parentheses all day, every day. Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> let's see this again. Trusty bard. Let's see your name tag. Nope. <laughs> I like that we get that moment of suspense. All right, what are you complaining about now? Oh, key error. Oh, right, because it's not just the lowercase letters, it's also the uppercase letters. derp a derp a derp uh, So in our big list of, uh, of like, which characters to pre-populate... Wait, why am I searching for that? Um, no, uh, A, B, C, D. Yeah, right, so uh, I forgot about the uppercase letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P... Q R S T U V W X Y Z. I don't. I don't know. It's not like they had to be in alphabetical order or any particular order at all. But whatever. They are uh, for safekeeping. All right. So let's let's try this again. <laughs> Trust you, Bard. Let's see your name. Nope. <laughs> so there are a few things wrong with that. You might notice. For one thing, <laughs> for one thing, that's just hilarious. Um, and also, for another thing, what on earth? What on freaking earth? Why on earth would it do that? That wasn't the right frame. That wasn't like there's was very there's like nothing right about that. Basically, oh, I'm not doing the area for one thing. Okay, so yes, no. Okay, no part of what went wrong. But only part of what went wrong. I just I still don't know all of like what went wrong there. Uh, anyways, let's start. Let's start with what we know. Um, yeah, no, I forgot to use the area term. Uh, uh, area equals uh, yeah. So it's just it's just the another term at the end, which area equals pi game rect. Okay, so um, so right for the for the frames, which is the wrong frame for one thing, which is weird, but whatever. Uh, Why was it the wrong frame? That's that that part is weird. But uh, uh, all right, hold on. Um, <laughs> what is it that? 
Was that news update first? Um, yeah, right. Okay, so when we when we blit here, oh, and when we do, yeah, when we do both of these, I guess. Ye oh yeah. Yep. I still don't know exactly what's wrong, but I I know a lot of what's wrong. <laughs> so this is actually supposed to be um, zero. And this is supposed to be. Oh yeah, yeah. Wait, I just used. Oh no. Wait, okay, I figured it out. Did I figure it out? I might have figured it out. We'll see. Uh, right. So this is actually supposed to be zero. Z no, 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 no. This is supposed to be zero. No, that's. Wait a second. That's supposed to be CY. No text. What is this? What are these other terms here? Ah. Uh, no, that should actually be fine. Right? Because we only need area if we're starting from like a... Yeah, wait, what is the... <laughs> What is this pie game rectangle for, if not for uh, the upper corner and then the width and the height? Like, why do we need it? Why do we need the separate area thing? I guess, hold on, let me, let me look this up, because, I don't know, it's been a while since I used this other area thing, and apparently I don't remember how it works. Um, so, area. Uh, optional area rectangle can be passed as well. This represents a smaller portion of the surface below. So, the, the destination, for example, though, dest can be... Pair of coordinates representing the upper left corner. Oh. Oh, interesting. So when dust, when I'm blitting the whole image, I only have to give the upper corners? That's interesting. I didn't know that. A rectangle can be passed. Destination of the upper top left corner. Use... Ah, the size of the... Yeah, this is it. The size of the destination does not affect the blit. Okay, so for area, I do need to... Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so for every situation where... All right, well, whatever. Um... Yeah, I'm 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 using the I'm adding I'm passing like a bunch of coordinates like superfluously in like a lot of situations. Uh but yeah, I I might want to clean that up. But I'll do, I'll fix things first. All right, so yeah, I do I do need to use the area thing. Like it doesn't I don't know. I didn't it, it didn't seem like I would need to use the area thing considering uh uh considering I could pass through the rectangle, and, like, technically it has all the data that it needs just based on the rectangle, but it apparently just ignores, like, some of the data from the rectangle um, if you don't give it the area thing as well. So, yeah, so for these uh, for these things here, we need to say... Uh, so, for one thing, we don't need to say, like, text... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so actually, so we can just... We can ditch... Uh, we can ditch pygame rect. We can ditch pygame rect for all of these because it just has to be a pair of, of data points. Uh, but then we do have to say area uh, equals, uh, and for this one we do need to. I'm, I'm assuming for area it does need to be a rect. It, we can't pass in uh, rectangle. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this one does need to be uh, area equals uh, pi game uh, uh, dot rect uh, zero zero uh, text length blah blah. blah. Uh, okay. So. Uh, yeah, and so then I'll want to do that here too. So again, this can um, this one doesn't this doesn't have to be a rectangle uh, for starters. It can just be a pair of of points apparently. Uh, but then uh, this will have to be pi game dot rect uh, rect spelled correctly. Uh, uh, text there's zero zero uh, text length font height. All right. So before I change the other instances of like blitting to not use rects unnecessarily. And then check that this actually works, maybe? We'll see. Uh, Alright, so we're getting closer. <laughs> Somewhat. <laughs> the the name like the, the name tag isn't uh, like freakishly way too long anymore. Which is nice, I guess. Um the text still doesn't show up and like the the the, the left side frame is like showing up in a weird place, but other than that, uh and why is it showing the uh, font dot frame index? Font blit text font dot frame index. 
font dot frame index when blitting it's like font char uh, font char frame index oh oh maybe I shouldn't be calling things font maybe I shouldn't just be calling things like font uh, like this maybe I should be using a different name so I'll, I I don't know if that I don't see why that would cause a I don't, I don't understand why this would cause a problem per se, but uh, if it does, then I don't know. Uh, I like I don't understand why it's not working right now, so that leads me to think that I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so I'll just use like B font instead of font. Oh, oops, am I supposed to be replacing literally all of these? I think so. Uh, yeah. All right. So actually, before I so no, those are fine. Uh, and I'll just, I don't know, I'll call this, like, C font or something. Uh, oh, wait, I don't want to replace that one. Not that one. Not that one. Uh, so, yeah seems like, um, oh, oh yeah, and the other thing I was going to look up was, uh, was, uh, why is, <laughs> why is this, uh, the left, or the right hand thing is using start position minus text length when it's supposed to be start position plus text length. Okay. So that's why the frame end was, like, showing up in a weird place. So, yeah, what I still don't get, is, though, is why, um, why is there no text? Why is the text not showing up? Like the frames are showing up all right. And why is the wrong frame showing up? So the, a wrong frame is showing up and none of the text is showing up. Cause like that, the trusty bards name tag is wider than mine. So like trusty bard is wider than Vinry. So like that could be okay, I guess. But like why is the, and why is the wrong frame showing up? Environment frame width. Oh, ooh, wait. Environment frame L. Well, let's just look at, let's just look this up, I guess. No, it'd have to be, uh, it'd have to be, no, it would have to be, um, completely getting the index wrong. Like frame index must just be wrong for B font. So maybe, maybe I put, like, maybe I'm sending in the wrong fonts when I'm blitting text. Uh, it's like, so when we call blit text, uh, wait, hold on. <laughs> oh, I have the, I have a variable called blit text as well. Whatever. Okay. Um, blit text. Yeah. When, so when we're, when we're blitting, so this is when we blit in the character text and, uh, we're sending in font char. So we are using font char, and we're setting font char to the correct index, as I recall. Uh, for sure, I just looked that up. Oh, that would explain it. I forgot to replace. Uh, yeah, I copy and paste. Okay, copy and paste. Uh, but so this this still doesn't explain why. Oh, and the height. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, kind of forgot about that. Kind of just never. Oh, which would explain yeah, because the height is is getting set to zero. All right, so. Two things. Yep. Okay. Uh, two things is we need uh, we need the height, we need the font height for uh, uh, for both of these things. Uh, so let's say let's just say um, yeah. So the reason I had it separated out is because I was actually going to do this uh, a different place. Actually, now that I think about it, um, I was going to do this after we fabricated some of the characters. Because once we fabricated a character, we can just say um, we can just say like arbitrarily like uh uh we can just uh we can just say like uh uh font char height equals uh font uh font char dot chars uh index uh oh it's weird that I call it font char. I should probably call it like font adv for adventure or something. But whatever. Uh wow, why is the frame rate freaking out? 
What's that about? So the slow frames. Huh. Slow frame. Oh, for the transition? Oh, no, we were getting slow frames before the transition. But that is something that I, I wanted to change. We do technically, oh yeah. We technically, for transitions, we load, oh, I should, um, I should add that to my list of things to be doing. Uh, don't load, or like preload, preload uh, all transition data. Uh, uh, for ends, uh, yeah. Uh, cause we're, <laughs> I was a little sloppy how I set that up, and, uh, most of the environment data is preloaded, but, um, some of it is not, and I'm guessing that, that, that would legitimately cause hitches on the graphics thread. Uh, yeah. I don't know what these other slow frames are about. Oh, wow. Huh. I have no clue what these slow frames are about. Because this is way before the initiate, before the transition was initiated, and uh, there's like, as far as I can tell, like nothing else going on in the script, and they were about as severe as the ones that we just saw. They were like a whole point two seconds, which is dirty. I mean, one of the nice things that we're seeing is that the frame rate is going up as high as like forty frames per second, which it's kind of supposed to. Uh, but then it, it's also fairly variable because right, it's like going up to 40, like close to 40 frames per second, but then like down as low as like 25 frames per second. It's like, it, it's, 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 very, it's, yeah. I don't know what that's about. Um, but all right. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's continue on with what we're doing. Oh, you know what? I should just, um. I'm not going to bother like shifting these changes back over to the journey.py because basically like the text test thing is just going to become the new like real journey. Like once I'm done, I'm just going to get rid of the old one and like this will be, yeah, because I've made so many changes at this point and I'm, make, I'm still making more. So, uh, all right. So font chars index, I don't know, like a, like it doesn't matter what character, but, um, uh, get wrecked, uh, get wrecked, uh, <laughs> dot, uh, height, uh, yeah. Uh, so we just take so once we've uh, once we've produced like some characters for the font, we just choose a random character from the font and we we use its height as the uh, as the, the height. Yeah. Uh, all right. So let's uh, let's see if this doesn't work now. Uh, nope. Something doesn't like that. Get wrecked. Oh yeah, it's not chars uh, a dot get wrecked. It's chars a dot image dot get wrecked. Uh, do do do. Oops. Uh, too many dots there. Not enough here. Uh, all right, so let's try this. Uh, so now it might just all totally work. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> so like I noticed the uh, the character frame or the uh, the background, like the backing frame of the. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just happy. Um, the um, what is it? The backing frame um, uh, is a. Uh... A little bit it's a little shifted up right or it feels a little shifted up because it used to only accommodate like the tall characters but now i kind of want it to accommodate the shorter characters too uh but that's easy enough to change uh and tee hee <laughs> i don't know i'm just happy so how does that um how does that compare yeah it's definitely smaller so i might actually want to bump up the size of the of the text like because like now that because like when everything was uppercase like the, the text felt bigger uh, but now that we have like lowercase characters, I might actually want to bump up the text size. So, uh, um, yeah, that's one thing. Cause I, I want the text to be mostly legible. Like, I don't know. I like, I don't, I know the, the I know like not all the text in the game is going to be perfectly legible on like a mobile device, for example, but like, I'd like it so that if you're on a mobile device, you can at least tell which character is yours or something. Like I, I want at least... Like, I want action text to be legible on mobile devices. That's why action text is so much bigger. And I want, um, it'd be nice if, like, even if, like, like, so, yeah. So, basically, on mobile, I want, want action text to be visible. And on tablet, I want uh, character text to be visible. And, like, right now, this the, the, the new updated text might be a little bit. So, actually, yeah, not only is it a little small, I think the, um, 
the uh, the back uh, the the shadowing is a little faint, and so when I make it bigger, I'll have a little more room to play with the shadowing too. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm just like I, I just have OBS on screen because I'm just like looking at um, I'm looking at because I, I can't see name tags. I can't, I can't see the name tags unless I put OBS on screen. So I'm just like trying to see how they compare. And yeah, so uh, yeah, let's um, so let's just I, I won't I won't worry about the backing yet. For starters, I'm just gonna say uh, let's bump up the the character font up to size like 40, for example. And let's uh, let's see what that does. Um, so this is gonna be bigger, and like the the backing, like the thing, the 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 the, uh, the little like yeah. Uh, so that's like that could be better. Uh, so right, like I was saying, the uh, the so <laughs> so the little frame that tries to like sit behind the the text is now like even is doing an even worse job of like covering it. it doesn't even extend to the bottom of the characters anymore um but we have to update the size of that thing that we, we have to update those things and uh so yeah that'll be that'll be the next uh to do the next to do item on the to-do list uh so yeah i'm just thinking about how i want to do this and i guess like I might just do it in a very straightforward manner. I might just literally, like, um... Oh, I mean, I guess I should have done this when I was uh, going through earlier and, uh... And, uh, and adjusting all of these. But, like, for the for the character frames, I might just, like... I might just scale them vertically, like we did with the, uh... Like we did with, uh... The, the horizontal scaling. Maybe? Uh, wait, why is the... Hold on, wait, why is that open twice? Uh, edit... Edit these... Uh, so, like, what if I just did, uh, image, uh, image resize to, wait, it was 35 pixels tall? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, right, 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 because this is, right, this is not height, this is, uh, this is font size, um, so how big is, I should really, hey, that's the new follower, nice, uh, uh, Frozen Clone, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for following. <laughs> um, the uh, yeah, I should instead of having to like rerun this script to get this list of like height uh, height size correlations, I should just um, I should just, like save this uh, so <laughs> so that way I can stop running the script in order to check it out. Uh, but okay, so oh, oops, I didn't even start low enough down, or did I? Oh no. It, Wait, font size 45? No, I didn't go size 45. I went to, like, I went to what, like, uh, actually, I'm just going to close that script. Uh, I went to, like, 40, so, wait, I do have to start lower. Uh, so let's start at, like, 30. Uh, do, 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 and one more time. Uh, let's see that, and then, uh, okay, so, so, yeah, so font size 40 is as tall as 46, so, um, yeah, I only want to do this once. I don't want to have to go through and like do this like a million times over. So, am I certain that this is the correct size? Am I gonna, if I update this, if I update all these frames, am I gonna later decide like, oh, I want it a little bit bigger, oh, I want it a little bit smaller? I. Oh, right, right, and I can't just scale it up. That's the other thing. Oh, right. So maybe, huh? I might just not worry about it for now. No, I should I should worry about it. I mean, I should fix it up. Um, I shouldn't go out of my I shouldn't go too far out of my way to do so though. Um, so I want to make it bigger and lower. So so yeah, maybe scaling isn't the right way to go about it. Oh no! You know what I'll do? I'll I'll test it first. I'll I'll yeah no. I, instead of just like instead of like flipping the switch and hoping it all works, I'm going to. Uh, why can't I not put paint in focus? Please put paint in focus, please. Not that. Uh, paint, please be in focus. No, stop. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, oh, because it had this window open. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just uh, I'll use one environment as like the test environment. Which one am I working on now? This is like cave. Sure, we'll use the cave as like the the test environment. So yeah, so so. Let's, uh, image, uh, resize, don't maintain aspect ratio, the height will go to 46, 
But then the other thing is that uh, I want it to go lower to how much lower, I guess is the question. Um, So this is trying to show action tags, and again the text has disappeared for some reason. Why is that? Oh, I know why. Because uh, I'm bad at copy and pasting. I'm super bad at copy and pasting. I'm the worst at copy and pasting. Uh, I did the height twice, uh, or font char height twice. I didn't do font action height. Derp derps. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Um, so I'll uh, I'll just stop this for now, uh, and then um, oh yeah. So for test purposes, I'm going to uh, I'm going to change my name, uh, Binry. Uh, I'm going to change my name to like uh, uh, like what are characters that extend below the line? Like G Y Q P. Uh, uh, J, uh, yeah, I just want to make sure that these characters look okay, and then I want to make sure that the tall characters still look okay, too, so, it's so like, T, what are characters that, like, hug the top line, P, uh, B, F, uh, I want to make sure all these characters look well-framed, uh, and stuff, alright, so, yeah, that should be good. Uh, so this is this is my name for now. Um, all right, and then uh, actually I'll probably only leave that file open so I don't have to dig it up later to change it back. Uh, okay, and then uh, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, let's uh. Right, so I was, I was in the background, so I was in the cave, and I was gonna right. So I, I scaled uh. I scaled up this, uh, and then I just, uh, yeah, I guess I basically just want to, um, like, uh, just, like, copy, paste, shift, 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 maybe this is fine, this could be, this could be satisfactory, uh, so let's try, let's try this, uh, and I won't bother to do the, uh, I won't bother to do the, uh, the edges yet. I'll just uh, I'll just use this for testing purposes first, and then uh, right. So oh, so I need to I need to hard set the environment. Uh, so so where do we choose that? Uh, env next env or env name env name. Uh, where do we set this? Oh wait, we set it with the the teleport command. Uh, right. Actually, yeah. So at the startup. Uh, so next. Actually, let's go to next ev name. Right, because what we do is we teleport. So let's just say teleport to cave for testing purposes. Um, so yeah, so because the, the cave is the is the one where I've actually fixed the frame. So in just a second, it'll tell us to teleport to the cave. Characters are wandering on screen, and let's see how the background looks. All right, so that covers it pretty well. It doesn't go down low. It still doesn't go down low enough. So I'll probably want it to come down further. Yeah, no, it just it really doesn't come down low. Wait, did it change? Yeah, it did change. It just still doesn't come down very low, so I guess, uh, weird. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I, right, I'm changing the height of these things, but I didn't, I, I still have the, um, yeah, no, 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 I still have the, uh, the, uh, The uh, what is it? The env uh, dot uh, frame height uh, hard coded. Wait, what? Oh yeah, no self dot frame. Self dot frame. Oops. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. This is still hard coded at thirty five. So this is supposed to be forty six now. Uh, and let's see how that goes. Uh, oh yeah. So rerun the script. Um, uh, <laughs> so, okay, so let's see how this how this shows up. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Uh that's pretty good. Let's see how my name shows up with all the weird like low 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 cut characters. Actually, that might be even too tall. I think it goes a little too high up. I think I actually want to shift it down a few pixels. Um. 
Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see how it would look uh, if instead. So like undo, 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 undo. So what if I? Uh, so what if I select all and then shifted it down, down, down? Maybe. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, all right. So let's uh, restart the script, and we'll teleport to the cave again. Uh, doo -doo -doo. That's pretty good. It might still be a little too tall, actually. Because I only want it to graze the very tops of the characters and just the very so like yeah I like how it just grazes the very bottom of the characters but on the on the very top it's still it's still a little too tall I think so uh, yeah so let's uh, let's bring it down even slightly further on the top uh, deselect uh, slide it all the way to the edge select all this up here uh, copy paste slide just like one click maybe. See how this goes. All right, and then let's uh, let's give this another spin. Do 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 do. do. Uh, wait, did that did that change anything? I guess it did, but I guess I probably I just probably need to bring it down another click because it's still. I I'm gonna actually try bringing it down two more clicks because like. Because I'm a madman, is why. I'm a madman. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, I don't know why. Copy, paste, click, click. Oops, I, I planned that poorly. <laughs> Edit, uh, uh, invert selection. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, oops, what's happening? There we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, I'll probably want to bring it back up a click, but we'll try this. I'd actually, I'd rather err on the side of, like, too little of this frame. Because, like I said, the characters have that, like, outline around them. Like, they have, like, the sh the drop shadowing kind of a little bit. So, oh, that's the other thing. I didn't, uh, I didn't, I haven't buffed up the, uh, the drop shadow. So that's actually good, I think. That's actually, like, it, I mean, I might want to make it one click lower. But like I like that. Yeah. All right. So, so last thing, probably the last thing. I'm I'm going to take the whole thing, and shift it down to the very bottom. Uh, all the way right up against the bottom like that. Uh, save that because I think, I think I could use one more pixel on the bottom and one fewer on the top. I think that was like basically what I was getting out of the last run. Uh, I should probably just get get rid of the uh, the edges too because the edges are all like shifted up and weird and like. That that could be good. Maybe I'll even bring it back up one click. Yeah, I think I will. <laughs> See, this is why I didn't want to convert them all over, and then, um, like, I didn't want to convert the convert every single environment's version of this file, and then figure all this stuff out because I'd be here all day. I'm a little bit picky about these things, you might notice. Uh, all right, so then, uh, what was the other thing that I wanted to do? Uh, it occurred to me that I also wanted to change the drop shadow. Right? Yeah. So like, um, so I think, uh, I think I might like kick it up to like, maybe not twos across the board, but like, uh, where was the, uh, cause like when it's size 45, we were using twos and that, it looks pretty good. So at size 40, well, yeah, so we're probably going to bump up the, uh, we might be able to use twos, uh, cause we're probably going to bump up the, uh, the size of the, uh, action, action text as well for the same reasons. So, um, yeah, I'll just see what it looks like with, uh, with like two, two, two here. Uh, save that. Excuse me. Um, all right, let's see how this goes. Oh, I guess like, I'll probably have to do the same thing with the action frames in terms of like rearranging how the background is aligned. Uh, I might just be able to put in an offset. Oh, it does look a little weird now. Like, for names where the, the characters don't extend down so far, it's probably going to look weird, huh? Now that I think about it. So, yeah, how would that look if, like, my name was just, like, Binry? Because uh, it looks okay, like, in this case, but, like, what if my name was just Binry? Then, or no, what if my name was, like, was, like, Binry in caps? Well, I guess if it's all cap, if all caps looks weird, that's not the worst thing in the world. Because, like, what? 
<laughs> Journeytext.py is too large to analyze. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> I'm just really proud of myself. Um. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, so wait, how does it look? Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Too good. Too good. Alright, come on guys. Come on back on screen. We need to see your name tags again. Let us see your name tags. Uh, so that's probably fine. And then, uh, yeah, so it does look a little weird with, uh, just look a little weird with like all caps. That might be fine. How does it look with like all lowercase or like with like normal case? Like, what if my name was like? Oh no, I guess trusty bar. Yeah. What if so like binary, like all like like normal case with uh with no characters that swoop down. Um. Because <laughs> it looks fine when there are characters that swoop down. But what if there are no characters that swoop down? Is that gonna look weird? Probably a little weird. Yeah. So, like, my options are to just bring it back up a little bit more. I guess, like, yeah, it used... I mean, the nice thing about having the all, um... The all uppercase, uh... Characters was that, um... The, 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 like, the positioning of the letters, like, the vertical alignment of the letters was all very consistent across the board. So it was easier to, like to get this to like look nice. I think um I kind of just have to forsake some of the characters that are lowered down. Like I'll accommodate like most of them. So like let's go back to the uh to the weird case. Yeah, let's go back to this one. Uh I think I'm just going to like cuz I set it up so that I I can accommodate them very well. And so for mixed names like which like this weird like gibberish name that where the characters are both short and, like they extend downward and upward. Um like that worked out fine, but then like um uh, but then, uh, the, uh, the rest of it looked weird, and, uh, so, let me just look at that, yeah, like, that looks fine, but even that looks shifted downwards, so I think it's just, like, I think it's just a little bit natural that, um, that, like, the bottom half of the frame isn't going to be quite as low as the top uh, half is high, wait, what? Um, so yeah, so let's just, uh, uh, copy, paste, shift, uh, actually I don't have to do copy, paste, actually, now that I think about it, undo, 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 shift, shift, yeah, uh, I know I'm, I'm, I'm kind of walking back what I just, uh, what I just done, but, I mean, that's like the, that's why I restart the script so much with visual changes, is because, like, you, you, like, you can say, like, what you think it should look like, but, like, it's going to be a lot more apparent once you actually like see it in context. So that looks okay. That looks okay. It's still legible, right? I mean, the background is just the little frame in the background is just to improve leg is supposed to just improve legibility. So, so let me just uh, let me just check uh, right the other case of like binary, uh, and uh, give that another run, and uh, see how that goes. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, how weird does this one look? Ah, uh, it doesn't look that weird. No, that's fine. That's as good as it gets, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, so let's just do this to all of them, all of the things. Uh, so, oh yeah, what does that, what does this actually mean for the end cap pieces, though? So I definitely have to make the, uh, I definitely have to make the, uh, oh, I can, I don't have to be running the script still. So. Uh, I definitely have to make the end cap pieces, uh, the right height, right? Because the, the images have to line up. So canvas size has to go up to 46, somewhere or another. Uh, and, ugh, I should probably just, uh, I should probably just scale it instead of uh, whatever else. All right, so yeah, so what? It, um, how many pixels from the top and how many pixels from the bottom is this? 
Uh, from the top, it is uh, nine pixels. Nine pixels from the top, and six pixels, no, three pixels from the bottom. Uh, interesting. So this is, uh, so n this has to go down two pixels. Uh, do, do, do shift, uh, shift, shift, and then how far up or down does it have to go for the bottom? Uh, it has to come down, uh, yeah, actually, you know what, hold on, undo, 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 I'm going to say, actually, Instead of changing the canvas size, I'm actually going to resize the image. Not maintain aspect ratio, bumped up to 4.6, and I'm actually going to go with uh, nearest neighbor. How's nearest neighbor going to look? Because I can look weird. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's best. Actually, no, I'm going to go with best quality. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, so best, best quality. Is that going to look weird, actually? Uh, no, that's fine. Okay, and then, yeah, I'll just, uh, so then, uh, uh, let's just, uh, slide this on down to starting at the ninth pixel, and then, um, and then let's slide this to, uh, to be three pixels from the bottom, uh, so zero pixels, one pixel, two pixel, three pixels from the bottom. Uh, yeah. Oh, and I only have to convert one, because the other one is actually just the inverse of this one. So, like, this one is just, uh, I can just paste this, expand canvas size, and I can just, uh, flip the image, uh, uh, flip horizontal. Uh, yeah. Why is it? Is this one pixel, like, darker for some reason? I feel like this, like, this one pixel right here is, like, oddly dark. I don't know why. I feel like best quality introduced like some weird like cruft. I don't know what that's about, and that's annoying me. <laughs> so I won't, I won't, I won't go crazy with this stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back and <laughs> I'm gonna do it as a uh, as nearest neighbor instead of best quality. <laughs> um, but I only have to do this stuff once, so that's the good news, I guess. Uh, so nearest neighbor at uh, 46. Uh, okay. And then, yeah. I just don't like it introducing weird, like, color. I don't understand why. Uh, Alright, so this is going to go... Oh, yeah, wait. This is going to go... Uh, so this is going to go down to starting at the 9 pixels from the top. Like so. And this is going to... Uh, Go down to three pixels from the bottom. Uh, copy paste. Uh, so zero, one, two, three. All right, there we go. So again, uh, blemo, and then uh, image uh, flip horizontal. There we go. Uh, hey, Herdy Goody, Birdie. <laughs> Excuse me. How's it going? Um, what your name was on here before? Oh, interesting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah wow um yeah i haven't been in space in a long time so i've decided in, now that i've uh i decided to land on a planet of like small creatures and now i am i am i am like the 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 king kong of this uh of this planet uh also my my, my ship did break down so i uh i'm stuck here with these creatures <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> true story. Um, all right, so I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to save this. I'm going to consider this like the new, the new treatment. And then actually, yeah, so just, I don't know, just for kicks, I'm going to run the script one more time just to, uh, <laughs> too large to analyze. Oh, sorry. I, just, <laughs> I really appreciate that. Um, all right, so yeah, so let's look at the. <laughs> I'm um yeah all right so this is fine this is like what the new text frame will look like 
Is it? It still looks a little weird, but only for the reasons that we described. So it's, I'm not going to make it look less weird. It's just going. This is how weird it's going to look. Uh, <laughs> I guess. Um, one thing I was noticing that I could do though is um, the like the end caps like stretch a little far out. So one thing I could do is uh, I could cheat that a little bit if I wanted to. Um, Hmm. Nah, it's fine how it is. This, this is fine. I'll just, I'll stop. I'll stop. Uh, I'll stop doing. I'll stop needling with things, and I'll uh, I'll fix things instead. So, uh, yeah, let's. Uh, so I'll leave these open just for reference, uh, and let's move on to the next one and uh, fix up a few more of these uh, frames. Uh, so it's the yeah. So I want to come back for the action frames. Oh yeah, I'm gonna leave the script running. Right, yeah, because I wanted to see... Alright, actually, the action frames are pretty okay. I might not change the action frames, because, like, changing the uh, the character frames is, like, like schmumpy enough. Like, it's, like, meh. Like, I'm, I'm not enthusiastic about what I'm doing right now, so... Like, these ones, like, these action tags, like, when I look at this, it doesn't scream, like, oh, I must change this. Oh, although I did say I wanted to change the text size, and so maybe once I change the text size, I will change my mind about that other stuff, but... I don't know, we'll see. Uh, let's do let's do this first, and then uh, then we can worry about that later. Uh, all right. So wait, did I not save this? Save this. Uh, and then uh, so okay. So now let's open up uh, these ones. Uh, edit. Um, I mean, if I could just apply changes to like all of these images at the same time, because uh, I need to, uh, for one thing. Canvas size, no, not canvas size, uh, excuse me, uh, image, uh, resize, nearest neighbor, uh, resize to 46 pixels tall, and then, uh, so we'll pick this color, because we'll keep the color, then we'll just, like, delete everything, because, um, <laughs> all we really need is, uh, a square starting from the ninth pixel, or rather, with nine pixels cut off at the top. And three pixels cut off at the bottom, so it uh, so forty three, yeah, all right. So yeah, I think this is right, right? Is that right? It's supposed to be thirty five pixels tall. Uh, I know this one's thirty four pixels tall. Why is this one thirty four pixels tall? This one's thirty five pixels tall. Oh. Oh, wait a second. Did I line it up? Maybe I lined it up wrong at the bottom. Maybe this is actually four pixels at the bottom. No, it's three. Uh, I guess I just didn't leave enough pixels at the bottom here. So let's, uh, let's shave a pixel off the bottom. Ah, uh, do-do-do. Whoa. Did the graphics just like flicker and like do something weird for a frame? I feel like they did. What time is it? It is 3.48 in, uh, it's 3.48 in video time. Uh, uh graphics, uh, flicker, 3, 3.48. Uh, yeah, what was that about? I just had a corner of my eye, I was like, it looked like we got that water bug again. Like, we used to have this bug with the water where it, like, got weird. Um, hmm. Well, whatever. Oh yeah, how does the water look? Because one of the things I was, I was concerned about with the water is that, um, like, uh, there could be a seam in the water. Like, there could be, like, a, a, a divide where, like, if the the way we're setting up the uh, the frames of animation, we're, like, there's, like, float imprecision all of a sudden. And so, uh, they're hypothetically, like, the, the, fr the sides could separate. It doesn't seem like, uh, it, uh, it doesn't seem like it's happening, but it's something that I'm, like, watching out for. Um, okay, so then, uh, 
so what else am I doing with stuff? Uh, oh yeah, I, I was leaving this version of the script running just to check out the action tags, but I can... I don't need that to be running right now. I can... I can actually close this down. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Wait, what is this? Why do I have two versions of the text test open at the same time? I don't know what that's about. Uh, I don't know why two are open at the same time. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, so, <laughs> super fun visual stuff. Uh, right, so, I was, I was removing a pixel. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I just got one too many pixels on the, on the bottom here. Oh, oops, I, that was the wrong thing. I was supposed to be removing a pixel, not adding a pixel. Oops. Uh, <laughs> uh, do 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 sorry, sorry. Oh, you know what I should do? Oh, yeah, you know what I'll you know to save a little bit of time is, uh... Oh, wait a second. This is 35 pixels? No, it's 34 pixels tall. Shoot. If it was exactly 35 pixels tall, that would actually make this process a little bit easier. But, no, I guess this is fine. Uh, I was just agreeing to me, like, oh, yeah, so, 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 copy, uh, backspace, yeah. Uh, actually, yeah, so before I do the end caps, I'm going to go through and, uh, and do the, uh, the main the main pieces. Uh, so wait, yeah, save save that. Uh, okay. And then uh, yeah, because it was just occurring to me like um, instead of having to like re redo that selection every time, I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna say was it char frame? Uh, char frame. Stop. But please be selected. Edit. <laughs> uh, image. Uh, canvas size or not canvas size? Excuse me. Actually, I, I guess the other one's fine. Uh, resize, uh, 46. Uh, and then, yeah, if I just, like, select all, and then, like... Oh, yeah, I need to color pick before I delete this. Uh, but then I can select all, delete... No, whoops, wrong one. That one. Paste this, and then... Yeah, there we go. It'll already... It'll automatically, like... Just because I have that empty selection box on my clipboard, it'll automatically, like, line it up for me and everything. So, that's convenient. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, so, yeah, I'll worry about this stuff. Actually, I, th I don't think I need these open anymore. I can close these for now. Uh, file, or, actually, wait, no, I was doing it the other way. Uh, backgrounds, river, uh, character frame, edit, uh, so, color pick, K for color pick, and then select all, delete, paste, backspace, blammo. Look at that. Oh, whoops, I forgot to change the character. I forgot to change the canvas size. Uh, image, uh, canvas size, um, uh, 46, select all, delete, paste, backspace. There we go. That's better. All right, save that. Okay. And then, so backgrounds, uh, ship, uh, character frame, edit. Uh, image, canvas size, uh, 40, 46, uh, color pick, select all, backspace, or delete, uh, paste, backspace, flammo, uh, easy peasy, uh, um, mm -hmm. oh, sorry, I dropped the ball on that one, protospasm, I glanced at the screen, but I didn't, I should pay more attention to the things, when Trusty Bard says, like, the mid-time, so that in case I need to help out, I can help out. Still not good at that. Not yet. Uh, Alright, so that was the ship. Now we can do the snow. Uh, do, do, do. Edit. Um, you know what occurs to me? Because this is so just solid... Because this middle piece is just solid color. Like, technically, I could handle this differently so that... Um, Pi game could actually just blit it based on the color, but I oh, was speaking of the color, color pick. Uh, select all. Uh, do, do, do. Excuse me, but I'm almost done with this anyways, so <laughs> I don't know, maybe in the future. Uh, Alright, so BG's village, last one. Uh, char frame M. Uh, edit. Uh, image. Canvas size. Height 46. Uh, color pick. This color. Select all. Delete paste, backspace, blammo. Uh, Alright, so now, yeah, the end pieces, I don't know, I guess they're a little more fiddly, but they're pretty straightforward, too. 
Um, so let's uh, let's yeah let's, I'll just go backwards now. So character frame L and R, edit. Uh, so I'll just arbitrarily take one of them. Image uh, resize nearest neighbor height forty six, and then uh, yeah right. So I should just keep track of like how many clicks each of these things are. So like to get this down to. Uh, the height of nine, it's it's down seven clicks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, that one's easy enough. But it's oh whoa, whoops, oh yeah no, I didn't mean to copy paste. I meant to just drag. Uh, oops. Uh, uh, that one's easy enough. I should I'll keep track of how many clicks the other one is though. Uh, I think it's like just down one click or something like that. So. Uh, Let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, so it's just uh, it's just down one click actually. <laughs> all right, so save that. Uh, okay, select all, copy, uh, paste, expand canvas, image, uh, flip horizontal. Ha, there we go. Save that, and then uh, good, good then. Uh, where's this? There's just like rotation y arrow things here. Oh, in case I want to rotate it. No, thank you. Um, <laughs> no, uh, save. I don't know, whatever. Don't save either way. Uh, okay, so village, uh, snow. Uh, once again, char frames, uh, edit. And do do do. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's uh, yeah, zoom in here. Um, so image, uh, resize, uh, height 46. And uh, so, yeah, as for bringing the top down, this is simply a matter of bringing it down to nine. And then uh, in terms of, uh, oh yeah, so actually I guess it'd probably just be easier to, uh, to just uh, move the whole image down one pixel and then do the top instead of doing the top and bottom separately. Uh, so save this, uh, okay. Select all, copy, uh, paste, uh, expand canvas size, yes, and then uh, image, uh, flip, uh, flip horizontal, uh, save that, okay, uh, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, so for, so for ship, uh, character frames, edit, uh, for the first one, yeah, I should just, um, it's just like, oh yeah, so first uh, image, uh, Resize uh, to say, 46, and then uh, yeah. So for the first thing, I should just like select all, move it down to click. Then I can go in and move the top down further. Uh, do, do, do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so save that. Uh, okay. Select all. Copy. Paste, expand canvas size, uh, layers, or image, either way, uh, flip horizontal, uh, save that. Alrighty then, look at stuff, look at great stuff, and hooray. Uh, <laughs> so ship, river, uh, just like three more to go, not many more. Uh, <laughs> uh, image, uh, resize to height of 46. And uh, select all, slide down a click, and then uh, the top, right? Yeah, so the top uh, can get, come down six clicks. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, select all, copy. Oh, yeah, save also. Uh, and over here we can paste and expand canvas and uh, image, uh, flip horizontal, file, save. Okay, almost there. <laughs> That's the uh, the fun part about having a content library is that when you make changes that affect your content library, you have uh, you have stuff that you get to retrofit. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, so height for forty six. Select all. Shift down a pixel. Uh, select this uh, top area and slide it down one, two, three, four, five, six pixels. Select all. Copy. Save, okay. Uh, paste, expand canvas size, image, 
flip horizontal, save that. Uh, you're, if anyone has a question, I'm fully in, capable of answering questions now. Because I'm not like, sometimes if I'm coding, I'm like using the speech centers of my brain, or like the language centers of my brain, and it's difficult to uh, think about two things at the same time. But with um, 